Hello and welcome to Calagra Market. We are doing a restart because we did a ma massive goof, goof up in our uh, first broadcast. So some of you might have joined, some of you might not have joined. But regardless of uh, that, we are kickstarting again. I'll just wait for a couple of moments to make sure that we are indeed live and that you know this thing is going uh, on broadcast. So okay, I got the notification saying that this is live. So if you have any audio video issues, please do comment. So let's get started with our analysis. This time a much crisper 10 minute version. So first up two charts. One is the uh, spot chart. One is the, uh, sorry, one second. Uh, one is the spot chart. The other is the futures chart. So the spot chart is very different from spot futures chart this time. So if you look at the spot chart on Nifty last week, there was a gap fill on nifty right and we talked about this gap fill that this level somewhere around here is where the gap fill will happen right so if you looked at our last week's analysis you can see that uh, somewhere around 16200 levels we had enough volumes on the short side and this is the level which we will test so you can see it here nifty will fill the gap around 16190 there is a 50 dma at today's close the candlestick was a paper paper umbrella which could be a reversal candle there was a chance of a pause or a dip and it was time to exercise caution and we also talked about if the gap is sustained we will see further upside so last week we closed saying that there is a gap fill which can be broken if there is volume sustained at gap fill. So now let's look at two different perspectives. One is the spot chart. We can clearly see that there was a gap fill here. It filled the gap and it came down a little bit here, but we have officially filled the gap and now we are at the point where the gap fill has happened. But there is another chart which we have to pay attention to. That is the uh, futures chart, right? So let's let me quickly look at the futures chart so this is the nifty futures chart you can see that the gap was filled here it went all the way up and it filled the gap here but the problem is there is a hanging man over here this hanging man is usually a reversal signal. One second, uh, just one second. Sorry, sorry. My, my pup is making a lot of noises. So I'm just trying to get him out. <laughs> so, so this is a, this is the, so, sorry, let me just take the futures chart. Right, so you can see the futures chart now hopefully and the thing with futures chart is there is a gap fill at around 16,200 levels and there is a hanging man formed at the futures chart. Right, now the hanging man is usually a pause or a reversal signal and you have to be very careful about the gap fill at this point. Now I'm not saying that this will be um, a reversal. It can be a small dip, it can be a pause, but you have to exercise caution if you are on the long side, right? Because hanging man is usually considered to be a reversal pattern or a dip forming pattern. So nifty, there are two charts, one is spot, one is futures. Spot is kind of saying that the gap is filled and it is sustaining at the bottom, but futures, which is a trading instrument is saying that, okay, this gap is filled, but we were hanging man. So on the spot chart, the hanging man is a kind of hanging man. But on futures chart, it is a much clearer hanging man where the gap will happen. So I am a little, uh, you know, I have a little bit of a mixed feeling between the uh, spot chart and the futures chart uh, on Nifty because the spot is saying that, okay, maybe we'll sustain, but the future is saying that boss, Deco, this is a hanging man. You have to be careful here, right? Now let's look at Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty is hitting the 100 DMA and showing some pullback. So this is also a caution signal. But the absolute level on Bank Nifty is the top of this channel, which is around 35,800, right? Because we can see this, right? We drew a channel long time back and this is the top of the channel. Now, the confusion is, yes, there is a resistance here, which is 100 DMA and it can result in some pullback. So on Nifty and Bank Nifty both, we have hit points where there can be a pullback. 
but if it sustains we have another 2% upside in bank nifty which is roughly you know another 700 points and we also have another 2.5% upside in nifty which is roughly 600 points right a uh, 3% more like how much nifty now around 16,000 right yeah we have around 400 points in nifty left which is again 2% so nifty and bank nifty can still have a further upside all the way to the top of the channel here did I do the same mistake again? Wrong window. Again, I use that's yeah, which, which is fine. So, I mean, I'm saying that. Um, oh, sorry, I don't know what is happening with me today. Let me just sorry, sorry. Yeah, now we have corrected it pretty quickly. Yeah, 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 I, I got it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Now we got the same window. So, let me do this window capture bank nifty. Yep, yep, yep. Bank Nifty is back. So on Bank Nifty, we can see that there is another uh, 200 points, uh, 600 points left. On Nifty, there is 400 points left. Both of them correspond to 2%. Two, uh, 2%. Both of them have hit key resistance level. One is the uh, uh, 100 EMA. The other one is the uh, gap fill, right? So that is the chart. Now let's look at quickly op op open interest. Very mixed feelings I have on open interest chart. See, on the one hand, there was a lot of put writing on 16,200, right? Uh, on uh, this chart, sorry, I'm laughing because of the comments uh, from Shayan. So, but on, overall, if you look at it, right, there is equal number of puts and calls both on 16,200. Now, here's a catch. This would have been a very clear bullish pattern if there was put writing and call unwinding on Friday but no there were 3 million puts added there were one and a half million calls added so it's mixed right because yes there is strong put selling but there is also call selling and overall the calls are still more than puts PCR it was at 1.1 which is bullish so very mixed right option chain is kind of split because enough calls and puts have been sold both sides PCR is new bull mildly bullish I won't say super bullish like 1.3 it is kind of bullish not bearish kind of bullish right and then FIA data throws a curveball because this gap between puts and calls have really narrowed down right that's because they bought around 17,000 calls and sold around 30,000 puts on Friday they bought 700 crores futures on Friday but they sold 100 crore stocks 100 crore is nothing it's neutral but the key part is the OI on FIA's futures have dropped by around 600 crores right so this is bullish this is bearish this 11,000 is bearish this is bullish this FI data here is around neutral so overall net net right it's it's extremely mixed right because sorry because on the one hand it is very tempting to think that we have extremely strong momentum looking at the futures uh, buy or sell data alone but on the other hand you can also see that OI has decreased. Stocks are neutral. OI and futures are in two directions. Options is very clear. It is going to be bullish from the FIA side looking at the option data alone. right? So now we have multiple conflicting signals. Chart is saying that there is a gap fill and there might be a reversal. Option data is suggesting that it is very split between 16200. But we also have to understand that 16000 is a very strong support. So girega to bhi yaha pe attack sakta hai. So maybe a 200 point dip which means that you can't play for a bigger range than 200 points now which means there's no you know long put option play or a very big down move play you can play maximum till 16,000 on downside because this is a very strong support so option chain indicating uh, so 16,000 is a support 16,200 can be a resistance right that is what option chain is saying Right. So basically net net what it all means is if nifty holds this level of gap fill on spot chart and the other uh, level of spot gap fill on the futures chart then both of them can have that both as in bank nifty and nifty both can have a move all the way to 16,600 for nifty and probably another 2% for bank nifty 2-3% for bank nifty. Um, but if this is not held we can see a dip right. So what trades can we do then right. So if the level is held with volumes, we are playing for another 2-3%, right? That can be played through bull call spreads or bull put spread. That is both fine. In fact, it's a 2-3% move. You can also 
long futures on an intraday basis with very tight stop losses right i'm not saying keep it overnight open i wouldn't have been long a future on friday evening uh, simply because it is hitting a resistance right so when it's hitting a resistance you can't really play with a uh, unhedged instrument you can probably have a directional view with a hedged instrument like a bull call spread bull put spread etc if the 16200 level is not held and if tomorrow we get a consistent price action below 16200 right then there are two options one is you can either short calls or you can long puts but short calls are better than long puts for the simple reason that even if you long the puts we only have a downside sale 16,000 in a near short term, right? So it's not like you are playing for 200 points. If you're only playing for 200 points, you won't recover the puts premium with a long put trade, right? So maybe it's a good idea to short a call if you're bearish rather than long a put, right? So net net, if your view is bullish because Nifty is above 16200, you can do bull call spreads or bull put spread. If your view is bearish because Nifty is not sustaining above 16200 and it is going below 16200, then you can do uh, short calls, right? Not long puts, definitely short calls or even, uh, you know, bear call spreads or bear, uh, bear put spreads, maybe not bear call spreads for sure, right? If it is not sustaining. So net net, my read is that Nifty is at a very critical level, which is 16200. We have to watch this level to see if we'll get a momentum above or below. Uh, on Friday, on Thursday, we had kind of guessed that this is going to fill the gap and go all the way to 16, 180 odd levels. Market went a little above that. In fact, right, uh, market actually opened at 16, 270 on the first tick if you look at it, right? And it corrected and came down to 16, 200 odd levels. So that itself tells you that near the gap fill, there's a strong, very, very high amount of selling there. So I don't think... It's going to be an easy ride up but if we see volume consolidation and sustenance and close above 16200 then the shots are going to be you know triggered for stop loss and they'll be running for cover and there can be a very vicious last leg of a rally all the way to 16600 on nifty and another two three percent on bank nifty so you have to be careful right and so at least don't be caught short in case there's a very vicious rally if you don't take a trade it's fine if you are trading with spreads, it's fine because Kya Yoga, right? It's a limited risk reward. But don't be um, shorting this market with uh, uh, very high gamma trades or unlimited, unlimited risk instruments. Do not be long puts under any case because, you know, obviously we have to be careful about uh, uh, the support at 16,000 right so this is our overall read for today so we'll see you again tomorrow with more clarity on what is happening at 16,200 uh, till then you know as usual no advice no tips no nothing uh, uh, one last question from carpe diem uh, is it a good time to build a long-term portfolio yeah it really depends on what's the price action going to be like there's nothing which is suggesting me that this is i mean okay so i i don't know the answer but i am probably going to try to get lucky and wait for 14,000 if it comes or not, right? I'm, I'm just going to see if 14,000 comes. If it comes, I'll try to build a long-term portfolio. Otherwise, I'll just do SIP, whatever I'm doing, right? So that's my read on it. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Till then, guys, please take care and keep your capital safe. Good night. Bye.